Hi everyone, it's Friday, which means I'm back with some challenges. Now, the first challenge I've got for you today is a skating specific one. It does involve a little bit of equipment, so ideally a resistance band with a bit of stretch. Not a strong resistance band, a fairly low intensity to intermediate mid-level one, nothing too strong. You're also going to need some kind of support for this, so we can have a chair. Voila. Or you could use any kind of bar, wet top surface thing that you can hold, even a wall. Whatever is going to leave you feeling supported and secure. Again, you're not clinging onto it, it's just going to be there to help hold you up if you need it. It should be just a bit of gentle support that you can touch on and should you wobble, it's there rather than holding on for dear life. And what we're going to do today is continue the spiral series or the pose series that we've been doing over the last few Fridays. Today we're going to do an advanced one and this is a Billman. So Billman's position is when the, hat, the foot goes above the head. It involves a slight back bend, so before you do this, you must be warm. So, ideal at the end of exercise or in training session. It's also worth doing a few little lay back positions and some pour de bras to warm up. Forward bends. Back bends, that kind of thing as a warm-up because you are going to be very heavily using your back. You're also going to have to learn to rotate the shoulder and use this section. So if I just show you that action, what we're going to do is we're going to scoop the hand so the palm is going to face out, the elbow is going to come towards the hip and we're going to push the elbow forward moving the hand behind the shoulder to create this position which is where we'll be holding the foot Oh no, I should be holding the blade. So it's palm goes forward, inside of the arm goes forward, elbow forward, palm now going back behind us and we've rolled that shoulder. Okay, take this as far as you can. It doesn't matter if you didn't get up to the top. So with our resistance band, what we're gonna do is bring this around the front and the ankle. Now you can practice this with your skates, which obviously gives you a more realistic feeling of what it feels like from the eyes. So you can get your guards on and practice off ice. And then you'd be holding the blade. You'd be picking up from the outside of the blade. So the, the foot would be turned out and you'd be putting the hand through the outstep. And the action would go there. But as we don't have our boots on, we're going to use the resistance bind. It's going to go around the front of the ankle. But we're going to hold the knot or the two pieces, of the two ends of the band on the outside of our ankle. And my elbow is in line with the knee, the inside of my arm pointing out. I'm now going to move the elbow towards my hip, so in this position. I'm starting to roll the shoulder back, then I bring the elbow forward and I can lift up into that position. As you can see I'm holding the bar to my side. I'll show you from here. So holding the knot around the side, elbow to hip, and I lift and pull, and I can see that you get a strong arch. I don't like this position, you can tell. Um, you do need to let the, the back bend and the head go. I'll show you one more time. And obviously, the stronger you get at it, the less resistance band you'll have out here. So you could be virtually holding it with no gap, or if you're not quite so strong, you have a bigger gap. And you can just take it as high as you can. The aim is to get it fully above your head with the deep end. So elbow to hip, bring the elbow forward, hand behind the back. And, and ideally we get to the point where it's literally being held up there and we can do it with two hands. That was stood on the left foot, which is the traditional way if you spin to your left, if you're working on it for a spin. 
look up some positions online, look at some photos of people doing it where it's really high at the top because mine is not fully there. Um, if I were to do it on the other foot, I've got the flexibility of the legs but not with the shoulders here. Um, band around to the outside, same thing, elbow to hip, and then pull it over. You can also face the bar as you notice I did there, but try not to really put your weight on it. So that's your building position. Have a lovely day. I'll be back with another little challenge. Bye bye.